Okay, hopefully this turns out all right this time. It's a little bit bright in here. I don't know if the light's working right or not in the camera, but um, we're going to show you how to take a natural turkey wing and turn it into fletching for uh, natural turkey bark feathers and fletching and traditional arrows. We're making some wooden arrows and doing a little bit of uh, each to show you a little step step by step along the way to see what goes on here. Okay, so now I use a left wing. These are left wing feathers I already have here chopped out and pieced out. So I'm showing you on this right wing. There's two different feathers on the wing. One is your primary, which is a much stiffer feather and a much uh, more rigid, better feather to use. Then you have your secondary, which is a much softer feather, which you really don't use that much for fletching. Some guys do for some arrows, but I'm not doing it because I'm using hunting arrows and I want them to be rigid to catch the air, so my broadheads fly true. So you snip these feathers off just as is, pretty simply done, cut them off, there's your feather. And you take it and you use a razor blade and you go right down the center of that feather. All the way out to the end. Some of them are a little tougher and all you gotta take your time with some. And then you split your feather, just like so. Split right down the middle. And there you have your rough feather. Okay, then you take your feather, your rough feather. This is just the left wing again, it's one of them we're using, so. And yeah, put it in the grinding jig. The grinding jig is very similar to the fletching jig. You put it in there where the barb catches. Lay it down. Crimp your feather in there. Like so. Sometimes they're a little catchy. This one is the one I think I have a little boogered up on the bottom. You work your feather in there just nicely like that. <clears throat> and you clamp it down. Then you got your rough edge on your on your feather, which is pretty tough and hard to work with and would not glue to the shaft well at all. And we take that over here to our drill press and we have a sandpaper bit and a rubber bit that rolls along the inside and keeps a perfectly level edge and a square edge on the side. So you take that and you grind your feather down. Grind it down a little more. Uh, One side and your other side. The front side of that feather is really a little thick and probably not going to work so well. I do that, I do this one more time to clean up that edge a little bit. Sometimes I roll it just a little bit and take that fur off. Bump. We unclamp our feather. We have super nice clean edges on our feather. Then we take it back over here to the chopping block. This here's a little chopper. Cuts shield cut feathers. You lie your feather in there so it's nice, so you got a good section of feather. It's going to be a section you want to use. I always cut the barb, like such. One pop, boom. Beautiful, traditional shield cut fletching. We put them on our wood shafts, which are dipped twice, which is hand rubbed, stained twice rather. Dip twice and they'll be dipped four times before we're finished. Then we'll come over here to the cresting machine. We got our lines on our cresting machine where we're going to have our marks for our crest. Then we do a full clear dip before we put our fletching on. So that's how we make our natural wild turkey barred feathers for fletching on our arrows.